Welcome to Tone Talks. Welcome to Tone Talks. Welcome to Tone Talks. What up, y'all? This Tone Talks in the building. I wanted to uh, have a brief discussion uh, before tomorrow's show. Again, tomorrow's show, we're going to flesh this out, give y'all a chance to call in. But this Jay-Z NFL partnership allows us to see so much about the limitations of black capital in America. And I want to have the discussion, give y'all a chance to kind of chime in. We're on YouTube um, right now. You can join the Super Chat. Look, we're going to have a brief discussion. We're going to get to it. And we're going to talk about how Jay-Z out here taking scraps. Tell everybody that the, share this. Tell everybody that we're going to be talking today. Also, I'm using the, um, the chat, so I'll be able to look over here and see you guys commenting. Shout out to FFFD Ados. Good morning to you as well. Everybody saying good morning. I had to kind of come to y'all because I wanted to get to y'all before tomorrow's show. Because there's certain things I want you to read, such as uh, Jamil Hill has a new story out on the Atlantic. Uh, how Jay-Z banished, uh, Jay-Z helped the NFL to banish Colin Kaepernick. In addition, you know, there's certain tweets that were put out by, by uh, Jamil Hill recently. I want y'all to read that before tomorrow. But mostly what I want y'all to understand is the narrative and start thinking about this over the next 24 hours. And I want you to be able to call in with good questions. Because I believe that this shows the pure limitations of not only Jay-Z's wealth, but also black capital. And I think people are getting lost in the weeds talking about Kaepernick. You know, you had Charlemagne just today supposedly confront Jay-Z, but it was real weak. You know, he kind of walks up, uh, I guess, in this room. It looks like it was a cover job. See, is this the role of Charlemagne when, when there's a lot of black politics and issue? You bring him in and he asks a question. It seems like you're confronting black politics. But when it came time when Jay-Z said, what next? There was no call for Jay-Z to support reparations, the black agenda, or anything like that. It was almost like there was one guy, it sounded like another reporter, and he kind of weakly said, you know, a challenge and Jay-Z kind of confronted him you got to go in there all out with no regard for whether they care or not no regard whether you hurt somebody's feelings but everybody in the room was trying to keep their job you can listen to the Charlemagne interview it's on TMZ it's also on my Twitter but um and our question let me not say an interview because it seemed like everybody was scared including Charlemagne to tell this man what he actually was doing because what we start to see unfold when we look at this Jay-Z thing, and I'm pulling up a, a tweet. So when we look at this unfold, we have a tweet from uh, Jamil Hill. If Colin, Colin Kaepernick isn't part of this, I'm not sure how to feel about this. Very curious about these details. Eric Reed, who kneeled with Kaepernick, said he is not, to make it clear. And what you also see, this whole thing where effectively... Nisa, I don't know who this person is, says, wow, so this partnership deal started a long time ago. This isn't just like yesterday. What appears to have happened, just to be clear, and this was actually um, brought up by Jamil Hill, who said Robert Kraft is a longtime friend of Trump and donates to his campaign. White privilege is being able to use the cultural capital of black entertainers without ever having to sacrifice. So it appears that possibly what happened is this Equinox uh, thing that happened. They tried to get ahead of it in terms of other people who donated to Trump in regard to the NFL. Now, I'm not saying I know that for a fact, but it, it's it's very much aligned. It appears that months ago, there was conversations with with Kraft and Jay-Z, and this is the, the result. And it has less to do with social justice and more to do with business bottom line. Quintessentially, to me, this ties directly into the lawsuit that Byron Allen has with Comcast. We not here for knee pads and crumbs. See, tomorrow I'm going to flesh this out more, and I've done it in a prior show, and talk about how conservative, compared, how conservative, like particularly the NFL, the owners are, and, and how much they donate to Republicans. And it's a lot. Understand that what we have here is a quintessential question of football. I already wrote a piece in Vice Sports, Football's War on the Minds of Black Men, about the actual structure of, of what they do for a living. Because none of it makes any sense. They run and, and destroy their bodies for all of our entertainment. And then we say, well, they got to survive. They got to eat. Well, this is the expense of eating, destroying your body. And why can't we eat doing regular business? But we come back to the reason we can't see this is because they cloak it in Jay-Z and make it seem like it's not just cool. Make it seem like it's not just an access avenue for wealth. 
they make it seem like it's okay. This is the game that Jay-Z has played for corporate wealth all throughout his career, whether you know it or not. From the rapping, to the Ace of Spades, to the Uber, to the NFL, to the Brooklyn Nets, that is Jay-Z's role. He is not a businessman. Businessman? What he actually is is the cover for businessman. So what you see is that Jay-Z performs a functional role of making black folks think, it's okay to do whatever they're doing. Let's talk about it for a second. 10% of this man's wealth when it came out a month ago was Uber. All I heard was that that makes him a great business guy. You know, a great. What we find out, what we're able to ascertain is that Uber, and I'll let you read the article yourself. I'll pull it up so you can read it um, on your own before tomorrow, is that Uber is nothing more than a payday loan against your car. It is a payday loan against the depreciation in your car. So you count the maintenance, you count the gas, but what you don't count is the, 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 the depreciation of the car itself. But if you add that in, the cost of you pulling out that depreciation is basically a processing fee of driving people around. I'll let you think about that. But that's Jay-Z. He was sold that. See, they didn't give him that interest in Uber just to be giving him that interest in Uber. They didn't have to sell it to him. They gave it to him so he could validate Uber for the rest of people. America. Black America. ADOS. They did the same thing with Beyonce. She performed at a concert and they gave her um, stock in Uber instead. You think they did that because they wanted to do that or that she was smart or something? No, they did that to make y'all think it's okay to drive Uber. And here we are. They done just stole from a whole bunch of Americans because that's what it is. So we look at the Ace of Spades. Cheap liquor, cheap grapes. I'm going to pull that article up so you can look at it. I'm going to do a final version even of this video where I drop articles in so you can see it. You look at, it's, it's basically cheap table grapes. The only thing that makes it worth more than that is black folks believe in Jay-Z. So we have this magical belief in Jay-Z, and that's why black folks are struggling. Because, and that's why black folks don't get what black business should look like versus what it is. What black business should be doing is bringing lawsuits to uh, the Supreme Court, such as Byron Allen and Entertainment Studios is doing, that challenge the boundaries of laws that are on the books for the sentence of slaves. Nobody in the room with Jay-Z, with Charlemagne. I, I, don't, I don't even know about this night school guy y'all keep bringing up. But nobody in the room knew to tell Jay-Z, well, what you need to do is write a supportive brief for Byron Allen because he's suing over the charter Comcast lawsuit um, using slave laws. It would have shut the room down. That's why you don't bring Tone Talks in the room. Because I grabbed the dude by his jacket. I didn't, Man, y'all don't understand. Like I said, when I met Dre, I don't ask for money. I don't got no weak question. I give you the new Jim Crow and read it to you. I give you Tavis Smiley accountable. If you tell me you don't read and give it to you on disc, ask. Ask what I did. I'm telling you like this. When I tell you about inter about about the Byron Allen lawsuit, it's because I talked to him this week. It's because the reality is that the NAACP, the Urban League, have decided that they ain't going to write no briefs. We a month away and they ain't out. Everybody on the take, everybody taking a little money, and the role of everybody is to keep black folks from understanding we don't own nothing and that these people are oppressive. So you have a league built on destroying black bodies. At the same time, black folks don't have no wealth. Ain't nobody said nothing about reparations, but we sitting up laughing with Roger Goodell. None of this makes any sense. Let me see what's in the chat, man. Jay-Z and Bay used to control the masses. Shout out political little. Um, son of a panther. They make dollars off of us in the same way predatory uh, YouTube, uh, same way predatory folks do. Uh, Mario Hill, ADOS Memphis. Jerry Minia Battle. That's right, Tone. Celebrities are people, not gods. I don't even know if that goes far enough. Understand both of these people and Jay Z and Beyonce, I believe, don't have high school diplomas. Y'all following people that don't have high school diplomas being used by white capital to validate everything from Uber, which I just described, to the NFL, to even the Brooklyn Nets. This isn't just one thing. He did this with Brooklyn Nets. Jay-Z's already got a track record. He sold it to us. We got it in the report. What we get wrong about closing the racial wealth gap. Pull up the report in the, in the section on black celebrity. 
They had to come up with a whole rule called the Jay-Z rule in terms of NBA ownership where you can't have a hundred owners and then one of them be black so you can run them around and sit them on the court side and make it look like blacks have ownership. We're not doing that no more. That's what Comcast did with Revolt and Aspire. Them people don't really own no large share of the company. They own enough to be the face people where they run around and sit down and, and make it seem like black people own things. See, the problem with not owning it is you don't own the message. See, fundamentally, we come back to Kaepernick. I did an article in the Grio, maybe about two, two, two or three years ago, um, I did a couple articles. I did one, another one on Newsmax, and what I said is that Cap may never play football again. I said, essentially, Cap, when you when you kneel, you no longer are like Captain America with the shield. Now you're Cap, the black political figure. You can't sell it no more. See, I think we get confused. Let me say this about what sport is supposed to be in America. What it is, it's not about NFL playing b football or basketball. It is, a, a, to me, a control mechanism to keep particularly ADOS folks, the poor folks, thinking that we have opportunity. There's a new article that just came out on Bloomberg. You can read it before tomorrow. I'll pull it up in the final version. And what it shows is that, essentially, you no longer can become rich unless your parents are rich in America. They're, they're, see, that's... When I show you Jay-Z from Marcy Projects and he's doing this and he's been around so long, it makes it seem like everybody has a chance. But what this article says is what I've been telling you, that now America has locked up. And, and even then, that was like some fluke where the capital decided to just give him something just to keep the rest of us calm. But they're not even doing that no more. There's no more rap dreams. There's none of that. Understand this. Fundamentally, we are at a pivot point. What this Jay-Z NFL partnership and his response shows is that you have people whose role in capital is not ownership. Their role is basically to create and be a cover. A cover for the fact that they don't plan on sharing any of that capital with us. Now that's particularly true for all Americans, but for ADOS, we built the country. We've said it before, none of these celebrities have come out in support of a reparations package that black Americans, ADOS Americans, are owed by America. They haven't said anything. But you know how to come out when the NFL needs you. There was a fear that there would be blowback if they found out that many of these NFL owners have donated Trump to Trump. Because they received massive tax cuts. It was in their interest. To have Trump in office, whatever they say or don't say in public. The Equinox guy just said it actually. If we found out, what will be the blowback? Well, we found out that Jay-Z is being used as a cover. Let's give that same blowback to the NFL and to Jay-Z. I want to say this. I wanted to come to y'all real briefly. We got almost a, a thousand people at this early hour in the chat. It's 9 a.m. on the West Coast. Let's read another one. Um, Portland Girl, the mockery of using Jay-Z as some sort of black leader. You right. Uh, G&G Star, they get richer and we ate all stay poor. Let's read another one. Joe from D.C., it's gotten too hard to strike it rich in America. That's the name of the article in Bloomberg. It's gotten too hard to strike it rich in America. Um, another one is the... Let me read. Uh, Poker Princess, Black Capital is Desperate. Blast Freed, Tell Him Tone is All Chess. Uh, in My Zone, Yahoo just released an article called 400 Year Anniversary of American Slavery in America. This is where we're at. ADOS is here now. We got a gate up. What I feel needs to happen now is y'all got to go let the NFL know. Y'all got to let go. Let the. Uh, let everybody jay-z know charlemagne that we not going for it no more i still stand by the fact that we need to challenge the end we have something tangible to do in the next month naacp urban league we need briefs i want to read the briefs i want to see what they say about this civil rights act of 1866 that was supposed to make sure that descendants of american slavery were able to do business and contracting because they knew white companies and the government controlled by these white 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 people would not do business with black people does jay-z even know that this rule exists or this law that's the question that should have been asked in this room when he said what's next that's what he says listen to the tmz video 
Somebody in the room needed to say, have you heard about Civil Rights Act 1866? But no, nobody want to make Jay-Z, the guy that didn't graduate from high school, seem like he not that smart. So everybody in there, all the little girls, you can hear them writing their little pencils and everything else. Tone would have went in. Y'all know that. Bar none. Ho can call me now and I'm going in. I'm saying this to you because I don't care if it's Dre, Jay-Z, Byron Allen, Oprah. We got to be willing to risk it all because we ain't got nothing anyway. I just wanted to come to y'all because what we have right now is everybody not coming to y'all. Everybody talking about Kaepernick. And don't get me wrong, you know, I commend Kaepernick for kneeling. Kaepernick lived a good life, had a, had a great little white family, whatever. Don't get me wrong, I commend Kaepernick for kneeling. Kaepernick sued the NFL and then took a settlement, didn't push, the, push it to the end. At the end of the day, Kaepernick is still just trying to play football. What we here for is the reality behind why our black people, why Eric Gardner had to be selling cigarellos. Instead of owning the liquor store or owning a store without liquor in it, in his community, that he don't have to smoke cigarellos in the front. The, the guy that's in the, in the liquor store should be selling the cigarellos. We built this place. I wanted to have that discussion because I just want y'all to start thinking before tomorrow. Because when you call in, I want y'all to have good questions. This conversation is being had today. Jay-Z got problems today. Tell him he can come over to Dash, but if he come over to Dash, he better read up on Civil Rights Act 1866. This is Tone Talks. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please go to ToneTalks.org to subscribe or donate. Share this video because we're going to be having a discussion that needs to be had all across the Internet.